child and then yeah then i can grab it edit it down and stick it on youtube and share it with anyone because uh mark uh blue well two two people mark m w o r r z s has offered to do all the admin around beyond exams because he wanted to help with the training but then work kept getting in the way yep so he's offered to do all the admin behind beyond exams but he was gutted he couldn't come tonight so i've said i'll record it he can watch it and then we can have a chat about how he's gonna do it in practice a bit more interested in this have you met tom before i've only met really tonight technically kind of <laughs> no hi tom, tom. I've, yeah. met, I, I've met Paul before. Yeah. It's not Tom, like physically, but you know, we've met online before. So yeah, Tom looks after region nine. So it's our region for MCARS as well. Oh, cool. Sorry, who's yeah. hang on. Yeah, I'm lumbered with region nine. <laughs> so zero uh, in as far as the call sign. If, if my air con gets a bit noisy, just tell me I'll mute. Okay. So Stu, um, Stu is the vice chair of Beyond Keen's yeah. committee and uh, also one of the community reps for the online club and does a lot with the scouts. Uh, I think you run a number of scout special call station stations and do uh, a lot of the what's it what's it stand for again? A R A S S. I can't remember. Uh, yeah, I'm a radio scouts active support. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, we're based at Gilwell Park. Um, oh, yes, yeah, been there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, with, um, gosh, is it Steve? Um, yeah, Steve's, Steve looks after this. So Steve kind of looks after it. John runs the unit. Yeah. Um, if you've come across John, M5ET. Um, and I'm one of the lackeys. So. <laughs> Same here. Oh, lackey. Yeah, I went and approved uh, the place to be used you know, on behalf of the RSGB. And Steve was saying, you don't need to come here. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't. I know I don't need to, but I'm supposed to. Apart from that, it gives me an excuse to come out and say hello, and then yeah, try yeah. to drag his body over to Harrow to give a lecture about remote radio. Um, and I said, he says, how, well, how long have I got to do all this? I said, an hour, two hours, if you want. My students only get <laughs> half an hour from me. <laughs> I thought, um, okay. <laughs> so just before lunch, uh, dinner, I was uh, I, I was playing on my phone and. I've, I've got most of the slides ready for the PowerPoint <laughs> uh, for my one. Oh, yeah, you're doing FT8. But it, See, it's, I might even have to let Malcolm know about this one. It's FT8 on Raspberry Pis. It's basically my my view of it. And if, um, if people don't, uh, if it's not how someone else would do it, tough. It's like, this is how I do it. And it will, it will also include um, remote connecting or we'll touch on it. Cool. Intriguing. As I, I'm not a DG fan. Um, I set it up as a way that um, just before lo uh, lockdown kick, uh, started, that um, I could play radio anywhere. No. So I set it up so I could uh, a lunch yeah, on my iPad and something. work. Hello. Oh. Quite, quite an impressive drink disappearing. <laughs> you right, uh, did I make? I didn't. I've I've made you host there, Francis. Okay, fair enough. Hey there, Aaron. Yeah. We've got Dave, Paul, and Ray. We're trying this instead of Discord. Discord's great for a few little chats and gaming, but I think when it comes to proper presentations, we'll probably end up using Zoom a bit more. I've said anytime you want to steal my Zoom, Francis, yeah. it gets used by my family on Friday nights and Sunday afternoon. And other than that, it's okay. I think with the amount of people we've got in the group now, there's probably going to be someone always lurking with an account. Yeah. <laughs> um, to, to the, two, two clubs I join their meetings during the week. One is a maker space. One is the Witten group. Uh, we use Gypsy. Yeah, a few people keep mentioning Jitsi as well. Um, um, I didn't that, know whether it was popular enough. That, to... it's, it's still a little bit unknown, but um, Peter, 2M0SQL, recommended it. Um, I guess, is it free? It is, yes. That's always a bonus. <laughs> um, it's open source. Um, yeah. At one point, um, Paul uh, PLL um, even set up his own oh. server, but he hasn't upgraded it. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> 
So it was a kind of 90s dial-up video conference from Alan Sugar, whatever his phone, weird phone thing was. You, you can also um, dial in the uh, UK numbers and things. Oh, cool. Well, it's worth having a poke. I think because I have to basically, the, the RSGB are the usual cheapskates. But when it comes to the remote exams, the, they've got the cheapest possible product, but they're happy for you yeah. to use any the, for the, the video things, element. The two Zoom things, so well, easier. there's three things Jitsi um, has or hasn't got compared to Zoom that I've discovered. You haven't got backgrounds. Yeah. You haven't got the high quality video option, mm. although that may be coming. Guessing you don't have record. However, if there's only two of you in a call, it does uh, peer to peer. Okay. So, so you don't Jitsi, you have to play with servers. So Jitsi, if you know there's only two of you, we'll just say, right, you talk to each other direct. Yeah, yeah, rather than like out. No, that's kind of cool. You can have a really terrible signal with uh, three people. One drops out, and all of a sudden, the two of you is like, wow. <laughs> uh, I was going to say, you know the intermediate course? Mm -hmm. um, I've had a play with Google Classrooms, and it's brilliant. <laughs> it basically, you upload forms, and it lets you see the results by person for across all of their work, which is amazing. Mm. So I'm, I'm in, I've created a classroom for the club. And I've uploaded a, about 30 uh, foundation questions for part one of the foundation recap week. I'm going to get another 30 done and uh, we'll see how much they learnt at foundation. And uh, I've got most of the intermediate first week done. I've just got to transfer to write some questions for testing the uh, uh, good housekeeping part of the book, basically. But it's coming on well, which is good. Uh, oh. as, it, as it's your talk, uh, do you want to put, ping a notice out now saying that you're ready to go? <laughs> I've, I've placed it in lounge. Um, I did put an ad out earlier on, but I'm a bit anxious oh, about... Yeah, I've, I've, oh, I've seen it. Yeah, a bit anxious about abusing at everyone. Um, it's still early days, so a turnout of nine isn't terrible, to be honest. <laughs> I think we'll get a few more before we kick off. Um, yeah. It's not quite eight o'clock either yet. Yeah. Yeah. Also, if um, if you don't want to uh, abuse everyone, I think at here works. So we'll only notify those that are on connected and online. And online. Um, what did you say? Are you sure it's here, just online? Yes. Yeah. Here notifies all non-idle users currently online. Everyone notifies all users, even if they're offline. I'm doing all. <laughs> yeah, that unfortunately gets uh, a not a very happy response. But just FYI, we're starting to talk on Zoom. Come join us. So, See, now for, just the, for the weekly notices, you could do a, an app. Oh, everyone. Yeah, I do an app everyone for, once for, a week on a Thursday. For an evening when everybody's, uh, you, you're just seeing them lurking, just doing that here. <laughs> yes. That makes so much more sense. I don't want to start harassing, getting to a point where we're just a server that harasses, because if you do, people just ignore them. We it could even be we put a note in the uh, sort of uh, thing that that's what, how we do it, so people know we won't abuse it. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. maybe that is a good idea actually, just to say that if we do in that, it's it's really too to share. Um, oh, cheers, to you posting the link. I've just had a notification that my local pub uh, through COVID just lost one of the members. Oh, I thought you were going to say giving away beer, then, but so I didn't hear that's that. That's not what. Funny enough, they all picture a pint. <laughs> oh, uh, I came across a nice app the other day. Um, I don't know if you've heard of it. It's called Never Spoons. No. <laughs> uh, so you click on your local Weather Spoons, and it will tell you alternative pubs that aren't Weather Spoons. <laughs> yeah. I must have bought my local one. Uh, they don't play music, but I managed to get bands in there, uh, particularly for St. Pat's Day. Yeah, wow. So, I... Now, after what they did, um, a miracle. After what they did during lockdown, but I was kind of against them anyway because of Brexit. Uh, I avoid weather spoons now. Well, we were going to have a team meeting out, my team at work, um, and we were going to go there uh, for a meal, but. Um, MK Marina's opened up again, so we're, we're hiring a canal boat instead. <laughs> in Bromley, uh, there's a there's a really nice pub opposite a cinema um, that 
when it was open, it was three pound a pint for real ale. No brainer. <laughs> Right, let us see. I should probably add my name to the front of this slide deck and also change the date from the 14th of March, because that is a lie. <laughs> July 2020, uh, and let me add my call sign as well, because it is me. We're doing all right, we've got 13 of us now. Not bad. It's not bad at all for... Uh, a random gathering on a chat application. I was hoping for a few more, as you know, uh, Francis. Yeah, we were hoping to convince a couple of local clubs to uh, from our region to join in, but uh, not yet, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, one of them has... Um... Oh, <coughs> never mind. I don't want to go backstabbing everybody. <laughs> I've got to do it in the front. Fair enough. Sounds fair. That's okay. Sorry, go on. I, um, I don't know whether you want to open this up, but on the other Discord, we never really mentioned it. I didn't know if it, you wanted to invite anybody off the other one. Which other one? Uh, the UK Amateur Radio one? Well, they're not really technically part of the club. They are their own entity. Okay, that's fine. That's um, fine. I, know, I, I know the guy, and I want them. So there's, there's no secret here. They're having their annual general meeting at the end of July, and I'm curious where it'll end up. The big difference between ourselves and UKRD is that UKRD is basically anyone anywhere in the world. Whereas yeah. if you look at the membership in ours, everyone's in the UK. Yeah. And it's because we're a UK club. Yeah. Um, so I'm a bit, I don't know. Fair Maybe we, we can certainly make it available to them and, and have a chat with them about potentially doing cross events. But I've been on that forum for three years and they've not once done an event. We've been around for two months and we've had five or six already. I can see a dawn. <laughs> okay, I think we're I think we're in a good place. So um, I'll do a quick crack on. Um, so first things first, thank you everyone for coming along. Uh, my name is Francis Hennigan, M0 UKF. Um, Obviously, you'll know me from the Discord server as one of the community reps. Um, I also very recently have doubled up and now have another hat, which is one of the district reps for the RSGB. And um, the way that the RSGB works is when we affiliated the online uh, amateur radio community, we had to affiliate it to a region. Um, so we've become part of region nine. And uh, you may see on the call, Tom, who is actually the lead for Region 9 uh, on behalf of the RSGB. Blame. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, if you have any problems and you want to escalate anything, I can give you his email address. You're fine. <coughs> uh, <laughs> Happy to help. And Francis, <laughs> thank you so much for putting your head above the parapet. No, nah, it's no problem. So, uh, what I'll do, I'll share my screen. Basically, this is a really brief uh, presentation on the Beyond Exams um, scheme. It's aimed at the clubs in general. And the idea is that after this presentation, you'll have an idea whether you're a person who wants to do it as a, a participant, or you're a person who wants to support it as to the kind of things we can do together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the presentation and at the end of the presentation, I mean, feel free to input whenever, but at the end of the presentation, I'm particularly keen to have your thoughts on how we can facilitate this given the online nature of the club. Um, many opportunities, many, maybe there are some opportunities uh, that some traditional clubs might not be able to do that we can. So really keen to have it, hear any thoughts from you. So let me I'll go with this as well. If you've got good points or bad points, don't be shy. Bring them up, please. Absolutely. Uh, whatever comes to mind. So hopefully you'll be getting my screen. And hopefully I'll have gone to a, a side panel. Anyone, able, Everyone able to see that? I'm going to assume so because no one said no. Ah, that was a thumbs up from Paul. Thank you. Yeah, we're all muted. If everybody can just go on mute, please. That'd be grand. Cool. So Beyond Exam Program, um, it is being delivered by Chris Clough, G1 VDP, on behalf of the RSGB. He's the lead contact at the Beyond Exam Program. Uh, other key people involved today have been Matt Burroughs, 20SPPM, who's one of the region leads. 
13 or 11, something like that, and John Spurgeon, who uh, wrote a lot of the programme. Um, as I say, I'm, I'm supporting the delivery locally. Uh, let's see if this wants to work. Uh -huh. Excellent. So beyond exams, uh, it's essentially about having fun, exploring the hobby, developing skills, and it's intended to for two groups of people, really, those who are new to the hobby, but also those who are well established, who are looking for a bit of a challenge. And uh, the reason why they're running with this program is uh, it's, it's hopefully a core part of the RSGB's 2022 strategy, which is looking at growth, participation and diversity. Um, those who know me will know I'm very, very big on diversity. Uh, very keen on putting that on that on that element of it. A lot of us do lots of other things as well. Um, so anything that helps towards that, I love. There are actually two schemes. One is a club scheme, and one is a scheme aimed at individuals. Uh, both of them are free, and uh, they have no time limits at all. So you can take as long as you want. And there is a ton of online support uh, on the the RSGB website. So I mentioned there were two schemes. The first scheme is the club scheme. Uh, the club scheme is designed really to encourage clubs to work together to share expertise and progress. Um, it's designed to support clubs in reaching out to new members and those who are, especially now in this very interesting time where we're getting a lot of people into the hobby who have come through remote invigilation. Uh, it's reaching out to them and letting them enjoy and explore parts of the hobby they may not have considered looking at. Uh, it's been piloted in six regions and yeah, it was region 13 and it's had very positive feedback. And so this is a particularly interesting one for us because we can probably do a lot of stuff and uh, through to together online through the online system but there are some elements that really benefit from a physical presence sorry uh, Francis can yep. uh, Mark please just mute his iPhone or could you mute Mark's iPhone we're getting echo of his all right Mark I think I can see you I'll, I'll, I'll hit mute and then hopefully uh, hopefully that'll be okay so yeah the club scheme is the interesting one in our case and um, the individual scheme it has a lot more to it and there is a lot more things. There's a lifetime and then some, I think, worth of activities in the individual scheme. Um, it encourages uh, individuals to take ownership of their own development in the hobby. Um, the individual scheme though, by its nature, is individual. Although ironically, you will benefit from engaging with club members on it. So the club scheme itself, it's split into five sections. There's five sections are having a go, and this is basically all about having a go in different modes and different bands, logging contacts, working on different modes, whether it's satellites and using packet radio, or if it's uh, using uh, traditional sideband or even the CW um, or VHF, UHF. It's all about having a go and getting a certain number of contacts. Interestingly, you can do that and also uh, take part in other RSGB schemes, schemes that recognize you making contacts. Second one is getting involved and again that's about getting involved with the RSGB awards, contests, special event stations, uh, even doing things like uh, SOTA which is uh, planning a, a, a trip, a backpack essentially trip up to the top of a summit and doing an activation from there and working as many stations as you can. Uh, it encourages to take part in the club activities, so that could be doing one of these for this club. Um, it could be uh, going to, uh, yeah, Paul, exactly. Paul M0TZO has foolishly volunteered himself to do a talk on FT8 in a couple of weeks. Um, it, could be, um, it could be going to a rally or doing anything to support your local club as well. Um, the now the section is making something for your shack. Uh, one of the guys in the intermediate pilot today was asking about whether we thought it was worthwhile in building a VFO so they could have a play, even though it's not a required element, seemingly for the next intermediate. I didn't say that. Um, <laughs> um, but um, yeah, absolutely, he wanted to have a play and that would tick it off. And the other one is promoting the hobby to a wider community and supporting training. And uh, we already have eight people out of nowhere that have stood up and uh, put their hand up and that's great. 
and I'm the biggest fan of encouraging people to pay it forward. So you, you do your foundation and you provide the support in the next session or you do your intermediate. And even if it is just doing admin, you pay it forward to the next group. It's a brilliant thing that, that it's probably the best way to say thank you as far as I'm concerned. So what do you get from doing all these activities? Well, from doing all these activities, uh, you get certificates. Um, the certificates depend on how many activities you del deliver. As you progress through them, the more you do, the, the higher the certification. So bronze is for three activities, silver for five, gold for 10, 15 is platinum, and 23 for all of them. Um, and uh, whenever you do that, whenever you, you progress, uh, we will be reporting it. We're, we're now eligible to be featured in, in uh, RADCOM as part of the region. Um, we've already got the contacts, thanks to Stu, uh, at RADCOM. So we'll get it on there. We've got our website, we've got the RSGB web website we can promote it to. We've got our Twitter account. And obviously, uh, we can look at putting something up in Discord to share all the successes. Um, individual. Um, the regional teams, um, the idea with the individual plan is that regional teams present and demonstrate how this works. Um, yeah, that's, yes, let's just skip that. Just, yeah, that doesn't make much sense. Um, so yeah, so how's it gone so far? Uh, six pilots have been held in Hinkley, Leicester, North Knots workshop, uh, workshop, sorry, in Lincoln. Feedback has been, Members have tried different things, ranging from a construction project to using digital voice, uh, discussion nets. Uh, it's nice to see a scheme that encourages newbies to have a go. As a new licensed person, it's great to see a scheme aimed at new licensees as well as more experienced operators. Um, a few of our friends don't like attending clubs, but this gives me incentive to try things differently. So this is just basically letting you know who does what. So the Beyond Exam team um, in the RSGB help uh, by delivering these presentations in the first instance. So this was presented to me at MCARS by uh, the uh, guy, the regional guys. Um, so obviously I'm, I've now got my little uh, district rep hat on and I'm presenting it on their behalf. The regional teams will do what they can to promote this and um, will be a contact point, which is essentially what I've ended up doing. We'll uh, share expertise and experience that we and best practice and DRs will visit clubs to help with the schemes, which is me. So I'll visit our club, good times. <laughs> there we go. Um, so I think it's probably worthwhile me quickly showing you what is in the uh, the club scheme because uh, I don't know why they don't include it on that but uh, ba -ba 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 RSGB come here no that's my personal email you don't want to see that no one wants to see that oh well can everyone see uh, has it is it still sharing the presentation no you should be able to see my screen, hopefully. I'm going to assume so. I'm assuming you can see the RSGB website. I can now. Excellent. Let me just log into the club's account. Beyond exams. Record of achievement. Ah, oh, great, load of space. That's what we want. Oh, that's a certificate. Give one second just for it to catch up. That's what the certificate looks like, by the way for bronze. Uh, here we go. 
So club scheme, what does it look like? So it's a really simple form that someone in the club manages. This is what Mark's volunteered himself to do. I don't think he knows it yet. Candidate puts in the details, details of the initial club, the call sign when they started, then the, the date they joined. If they move around clubs, they populate in the form uh, accordingly. And then there are 27 activities. Um, first section, having a go, is uh, all about having a go. Uh, so the first one uh, is log 50 contacts on VHF, UHF. Um, that sounds like a lot, but if you have a go in a contest, you'll probably do that in one night. Sorry, Francis, can I just make a little request? Yeah. Can you zoom in a little bit on that? Maybe yeah. make it full of screen? Yeah. I shall do my best, but someone's done that annoying thing where they make a document and then they lock it down. And it really doesn't like it. Yeah, that's still better than it was. It was tiny. <laughs> that seems to be about as good as I can get. But as I say, unfortunately, you're just going to see these bottom four sections. You should be able to get it on the RSGB website. Oh no, this is it. This is from the RSGB website. It's just a bit small on video oh, yeah. for some reason. I see it easier. All right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. If you want to look at it yourself, I'll, I can share it out. We can share it out after. So yeah, basically the the sections are really simple. Let me just scroll up. They are have a go, and that is log fifty contacts on VHF UHF. Uh, log contacts with amateur stations in three of the home counties. Uh, as in countries, sorry. So Wales, Scotland, Isle of Man, you know, all the regional identifiers. Uh, log 50 contacts on Morse or SSB on the digital mode. Um, log 10 contacts using images on any band. Uh, log 10 contacts using digital voice on any band. And log a contact through satellite or through the ISS. So there's nothing, there's nothing outrageously difficult here, but it's, it's a really nice way. It's, it's, it's kind of the natural progression when you first get on the air, to be honest, if you're a, an M7, it's almost like the natural progression you do anyway. So it's an interesting structure for it. Get involved is a bit more interested. Again, you've got to uh, do a, a, an activation on a summit, uh, log contacts in 20 work or Britain squares, uh, log 10 successful contacts during a contest. You'll do that in about five minutes. Um, help set up a station um, for a special event, operate a station for a special event. Uh, taking part, attend six club meetings. These absolutely count as club meetings for, for the purpose of, of, the, of this uh, recognition. Take part in six nets. Thanks to Matthew's ridiculously incredible IT skills, we have our own cross digital network that's on DMR, DSTAR, um, uh, System Fusion, Echo Link. So even if you have a smartphone, you can join in on the club nets and they're every other Thursday. Uh, undertake a regular role within the club. Anyone can nominate themselves to be a club representative. Uh, make a presentation to the club, let me know take part in a RAINA event, we can hook you up with anyone, help organize a, an activity for a club meeting. Uh, making is building a bit of equipment, writing a bit of software, which we already have people writing software to create bots for APRS that respond with the location of the next satellite pass if people send messages to a local DigiPeter. We already have people doing this kind of stuff, so it's stuff we can definitely help people with. Um, introduce someone to a hobby that starts a foundation course, attend a rally or help promote the club, and uh, help run an amateur radio training course. I mean, we've got tons of people doing that. So that, that's the basics. I'll pause at this point, because I'm just curious what, what your collective thoughts are at this point. So let's see. have a pause and see if anyone's got any comments. I'll uh, stop well, sharing. With, uh, with us obviously having our course coming up shortly, are, are we going to have our own, own uh, Beyond Exams room at some point so we can get people promote uh, doing stuff for that within our community? So Mark's offered to lead on Beyond Exams for the club. 
um, in that we need someone who will facilitate uh, tracking and finding out how people are going on. Um, we don't actually have to arrange things especially, but I suspect there'll be quite a few people who might be quite game to go and do an, a summit activation and that kind of thing. And I think a lot of this will be on the individuals who want to do it, pushing it like everything else in the club is. Because on, on, on that point, I don't, I'm probably talk for at least half, if not more people here, saying that if there's something we can help someone tick off remotely, HF, uh, DMR, D-Star, whatever, I'm going to hold my hand up and say, I'll help. <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's, it's a cool thing. Um, anyone who's, we've got a couple of M7s kicking around. Anyone um, who's new licensed have any thoughts on it? Oh. Makes sense right. to me. Um, yeah, I've done a it's M7 IRL, Paul. Um, yeah, I've done a, done a couple of these already. So um, for some of these things, can we, of course, use those historic? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I know, as long as, as long as you can evidence it in a way, there's there wouldn't be a problem in using it. So if you wanted to go through on that, it'd be absolutely fine. Um, we just need to put in place the framework for you to be able to say i've done this and then it'll probably be a mark it'll just tick it off and and progress it i think owen might have been gonna say oh, are you typing owen i thought we, thought we were gonna get a comment then no fair enough <laughs> yeah yeah absolutely uh m7 um CYB in chat uh, is saying you could upload your log into uh, on the software or into the cloud. And yeah, absolutely. You, we've got quite a few. Uh, Mark from his iPhone kindly commenting that uh, he's a Raynet member for uh, Western North Wales. Yes, I didn't try and pronounce the town name. Sorry. It, it would be worse if I did. Um, and you support the South. So for Wales, <coughs> it looks that is a great opportunity. Um, I know it's quite hard to find engaging Raynet groups, so that would be great, Mark. Anyone else got any thoughts at the moment? What I will do, I'll share also with you the individual one, because the individual one, although we wouldn't have to do as a club, we would end up having, we'd probably end up having to help each other out if someone wanted to do it, and we probably want to make people aware that it exists. Um, because the individual one is a whole new level uh, and it's I'm, I'm tempted to do it myself to be honest I don't know how I just have to get Tom to sign out for something um, individual uh, beyond exams you can google this one it's not it's not hidden anywhere and I'll just share my screen again and hopefully you can see it okay Heck of a lot. there is the, it look it's completely backwards when you see the individual one. Ba -ba -dum -ba -dum. That's not the one. So we'll just take it off the website. I won't bother loading up the spreadsheet. I'm sure you can load up the spreadsheet yourself. So individual schemes are grouped into nine sections, contesting and radio sport. Take part in contests from an informal local fox hunt to winning a formal contest. That's winning not taking part, <laughs> digital image satellite operation, tri-modes that are becoming more common, and they're talking about um, uh, like in Oscar 100, which now allows you to use DVB2, DVBS2 to send live video over two thirds of the planet. Um, it's that kind of thing. Uh, general operation from traditional amateur radio through to uh, moon bounce, uh, bouncing off aeroplanes, um, working through repeaters, uh, operating marine mobile, and yes, technically in a, a foundation licensee could go on a yacht with a full licensee with the club call and operate M0 UK. So there are ways to do all these regardless to your license restrictions. Um, Expand your proficiency, become adept at Morse, write articles, get them published in Radcom. Um, we've got all the people, all the contacts. Uh, explore SDRs. A lot of the guys are doing that already. I know one of uh, Seb who passed recently, M7. Oh, what's his call? I was talking to him earlier on. M7. CYB, that's you, Seb. Oh, you've, you're actually here as well. Has been um, 
has been playing a lot with Blue DV and uh, trying to to pull things apart. Whoopsie. Um, making from kits to building and designing entire radios, um, working with doing it yourself or working with microcontrollers and single boards. Uh, there are badges and awards sorry, for Francis sorry, on yeah. that topic. I'm, I'm, I do apologize for interrupting, but is the M cars 80 <clears> coming back on the kits? No, but <laughs> interestingly, the the guy who's developed Stu, have you been testing this new one, Steve's work? I've you? got the kit. I've got the kit set in my shack at the moment. So there's a new. It's not going to be an M cars 80, but is it? It's an. It's a. a well, do you want to say, Stu, because I don't I have yeah, really so it. Yeah, so I can't remember what it's called. I'm not sure if it's the final name. But basically, it's a new, it's a, it's a very new concept that Steve's going for. Uh, it's very similar to the MCARS 80 in that the, the kit is very similar to build, but it's going to have a lot more functionality. And also, it will come in a 20, 40 or 80 metre Variant. I've got the 80 meter one, I think. I think I've got the 80. I might have the 40. But um, anyway, it comes in a 20, 40, and 80 variant. Um, so depending on which one you build depends on the components that you get. So I think that's the way he's looking at it. And I've, I have a feeling that further down the line, there will be an element where I think he'll eventually design a bit where you can actually swap the bits out so that you can actually have all three, but you have to swap a bit between them. So, um, can I, I think Martin had a question. <laughs> we probably should explain what an MCARS 80 was. Here's a word. Yeah, it was, a, it was a, an 80 meter SSB um, single band um, five watt radio yeah. that you built and was all discrete components. There's no um, the tiny little fiddly components. No. I am not a soldier by nature. Um, I um, The only other thing I've ever built on a kit was a Morse oscillator for my uh, my intermediate, and over about the course of a year and a half, I put together the MCARS 80 at home, mostly yeah. on my own. I yeah, will so admit, I did decorate my friend's kitchen because I put one of the capacitors around the wrong way, but he volunteered to uh, test it, and he hadn't spotted it either. So, yeah. So the MCAR, the, the the new the new version is is identical it's all um all the solder is is through hole soldering there are no smds or anything like that and it's it's exactly the same in fact he's actually made it a little bit easier and the instructions in my opinion are a lot more intuitive oh and um i got to say the the manual for it was absolutely awesome it wasn't even the latest version i had and the manual for it was absolutely spot on everything. He, did, he does, he goes that extra. I know the new one isn't going to be an MCARS brand just because we've no, not really no, done it as a club. What, but Well, I did on mine. Um, there was a thing where it had a whole map of where everything went and I was highlighting them in a highlighter. So I knew exactly where everything went and it just went so smoothly. So this, so again, the other thing with the new one is it's very similar, but it will also have an automatic, um, it will link straight into your computer so you can use it for digital modes. And that's what he's aiming it at. He's aiming it at not just SSB, but people who want to use it as a really lightweight way of taking their digital modes with them. Okay, put me, that sounds very Put cool. me down for one. Sorry I interrupted, <laughs> but you, you mentioned about building and it was, it was a lovely kit. Yes. Fair enough. <clears throat> Go on, let's, let's drop back on. I'll let, when Steve shouts, I'll make sure you know. Um, <laughs> right, so building, and a lot of people really enjoy that. Um, we've got SOTA, Working All Britain, various RSGB awards, and then more interesting stuff like volunteering. So you may want to put your hands up to help with the remote invigilation as it is now, or uh, mentoring, especially if you get a bit of a knack for a particular area when it comes to full, it's a whole new ball game. Um, I think I've said it to a few of you if you've asked the question. When it comes to full, you play the numbers, you get the syllabus, you work out where your strengths are. And then you go through the next section, work out where your, your weaknesses are and how many points you need to get through to get to a good place. If you know it all, great. But if not, you then find those people who can help you learn those bits that catch you out by and, and helping someone if you've come from an electronics background or if you're just good with the soft skills um, is a great thing. D expeditions, you can bugger off to the polar ice caps. Um, I mean, you could do more, but <laughs> you could technically, we could technically go down to Cornwall. But um, yeah, club talks, 
Uh, one that will be close to Stu and myself is Yota and Jota. So go help out with the scouts. We can get you, potentially get you um, checked out for all the, the correct things and, and get you on the scout. I'll get you a badge. I'll get you a badge. You even there get you a badge. If you're coming out, mate, I'll give you a badge. You might even get a jumper. Yeah. Red jumper. Good times. Yeah. <laughs> Promoting our radio and tinkering and experiment in digital operation, remote operation, improving, playing with antennas, building antennas, anything. So the individual one, I think you'll agree, is a lot more interesting than the club one. <laughs> but the individual one, um, again, just because it's not the club one, I think a lot of us will be able to, will be interested in doing certain bits and a lot of us will be able to support each other in doing the others. I mean, in a way, we've kind of, within the server, we've kind of, if I just bring over the club, as it were, we kind of already have specialist sections, as it were, where you can drop in and just talk to people about whatever. Um, but we definitely, uh, as, as more interest comes, we'll open up new areas to support people who want to do things individually as well. Um, so, yes, yeah, so that's the, the individual one. Um, Stop sharing now, just so we can get back to the video wall. Um, and that's basically it. If you guys think it's worth it, I'll happily have a, mark, a word with Mark, and we can we can formally get it going and make an update, add to the website, like links to see what the activities are, and get you a proper point of contact, uh, so you can you can register that you're taking part. Um, but yeah, just I'll just uh, again I'll open it up for for your thoughts really. Hi, it's uh, Paul M7 Hi, LAP. Yeah, I've I've actually I I kind I kind of think that in a way I kind of blagged my way through foundation, not being associated with the club, mm. um, and I'm and I'm kind of feeling isolated and frustrated, and I've put the brakes on the spend. So I, I think something like this. Is, a, is quite a big bonus for me, particularly the buddying up with people. Um, I've got a long wire up and I pick up good signals, you know, but I don't, you know, pushing pushing things out and getting the contacts is a different thing altogether for me. Um, so I, I, I'm, 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 a re, a, I'm going to really buy into this sort of thing. So from Brilliant. my perspective. And maybe that's something else we can do because one thing we've been trying to do is we've been trying to we've been trying to make the server as opening as possible, but I've always been conscious in the back of my head that it can be quite intimidating if there's a group of people who uh, are, I don't want to say operating at another level, but if you know what I mean, they're kind of flying off in all the technical detail, and you just stood there with a a bit a better wire, wondering what the hell you're supposed to do. Um, so, so. Sorry, it's, just, it's just mentoring. It's, it's getting used to people. That's what clubs are for. Yeah. Well, anyone's got a question, you normally team them up with someone that knows the answer. Yeah. So if we can... If, everybody else knows the answer. Yeah. Not the so we can, we can certainly, we can certainly um, make that easier. And this is one of the ways that we can do it, as well as obviously, I mean, we'll just do it generally. I'll, I'll post it straight onto the... The, or unless you want to, I'll post it straight onto the ideas channel as we'll have a, a dedicated buddy scheme. I don't know if you want to put it in the ideas channel, Paul. I'll happily do it, and uh, yeah. that'll get stamped off in seventy-two hours. I can't see anyone objecting, and we'll make it a make it a done deal. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I'd, I'd agree with that. No. Go on, Mark. I was just going to jump in. Great idea. Love it. Uh, absolutely. Um, I'm I'm a member of two clubs. An old club where I used to live. Uh, uh, probably in South Gloucestershire, it's a radio, I'm also a member of Adars, which is Aberystwyth's club. And in both of those, I'm a mentor. Um, and it's a great process because you are out there on your own. I've been through the system as well as everyone else, and it is lonely sometimes. Um, and I'm more than happy to help as a mentor, but I, I know what it's like when you just need a bit of advice. Uh, you know, you're trying to put up a long wire and you, you can't get it, you can't get it to tune, and you just want somebody at the other end just to give you a hand, you know, on the day. It, it, you know, that, that, that you learn an awful lot that way. So uh, yeah, absolutely great. And I love the, um, you know, Beyond Exams Club. I think it's brilliant. I think it's an absolutely brilliant idea. Fantastic idea. In fact, I wish I thought of that a few years ago, actually. 
I could have, I could have done with that. I was uh, in Thornbury. I was PR and marketing, and what a shame! I was on the committee for three years with that. Um, I was trying to think of something that I could do to encourage more people, <laughs> and this is it. <laughs> <laughs> that works. <laughs> Just in case. Okay, you know. Great. Thank you. Sorry. Well done, Mark. Yeah, if people are lonely out there, it's, it's just a matter of being brave enough to talk to others. Um, Francis, you're more aware than I if you're doing invigilation. Um, I think the RSGB has done 1,000 beyond uh, 1,000 foundation exams so far. Yeah, absolutely. So it's 595 we're done in June. I've personally seen 165 so far. Um, but thanks to you, <laughs> thanks Paul. <laughs> but but um, it's not stopping. It really isn't stopping. July is fully booked. It's way into late August. The entire reason this club club came about is because a few of us were talking, and the feedback was, I don't have a club, or the club I've come to isn't for me, or um, yeah, I, I, it's it, it's mm -hmm. basically the combination of them too. So if we can use this to kind of learn together and do stuff together. I, I mean, that's great. Paul, sorry, Tom. Yeah, no, no. Um, something uh, we do at work, and it might also mean we could slightly change what uh, the mentoring idea. Um, I don't know if any of you come across reverse mentoring. Uh, yes, we've got a thing. So, like, uh, the lower grades up my, uh, where I work, I work for the Department of Work and Pensions, might have a senior manager who they mentor up the line rather than back down. So what I was thinking is maybe instead of saying it's a, a mentor program, um, I think someone else said the word, so I'm going to pinch it, but a, a more like a buddy system. Because I can learn from an M7 as much as they can learn from me. Yeah. Just, yeah, especially if they can solder better than I can. You know? <laughs> so I don't like the idea of making it clear that it doesn't necessarily have to be one way. Um, oh, it does, and, and, and I don't, the, I don't, I don't um, know if, if buddy system is the right word, but that would be closer to a name I think would be better to make it a two-way so, street rather I than... Mean, um, we've kept, we're kind mental. of already doing it because we've got yeah. Robin, don't we, who's an M7, who's a physics teacher, who's helping us write the practice material for the intermediate second part of the electronics. Because why wouldn't we? As long as I can make sure it's, it's keeping lined up to the syllabus, why wouldn't we take his advice? He knows what he's on about. He um, just can't invigilate. <laughs> yeah, but... But it doesn't mean that, I mean, it's probably more, well, we saw from the stuff he was sharing, it was like, yeah, this is way above anything. <laughs> as long as we're careful with it and we don't, and we make sure we don't lose sight of uh, what the candidates need to know for the thing. It's stupid to make it one way. It is about working together. Um, yeah, we could certainly pitch it that way as well. I think, I think it's important because I'm thinking there's a couple of M6s, um, not in our group, but uh, who I know generally, who've been M6s forever, they really don't give a monkeys about moving up. Um, whether they're technically doing everything by the rules or not, I wouldn't want to comment, but they know a hell of a lot about things as well. And I, I take quite frequently take advice from one of them uh, when it comes to HF, because he's been doing it forever and a day. And you can't beat experience at the end of the day. Okay, so I'm taking that. Well, I mean, we've already signed off that we'll sign the club up for this and we'll do it. So back with my community rep hat on. We've already done this, so this is happening one way or another. If Paul's happy to put that idea up of setting up a mentor slash buddy thing up in the ideas channel, we'll we'll just go through the cons the process as per the the club constitution. But no one's going to object to it. I mean, it's it's just a good idea. And I, to be honest, I'd like you to be seen to it to have been the one to put it forward, if that's all right, Paul, just because yeah. it's your idea. Um, yeah, no problem. And got, got your message on, I think that was you on text. No, that was in the poll. <laughs> but yeah, that'd be great. Um, cool. Right, well, happy to wrap it up there, If unless anyone's got anything else. Um, Club-wise, we've got our cross, uh, cross mode net next week, week after Mr. Gibson has volunteered. Uh, to present on PACT FTA on uh, Raspberry Pi. Some of you, you're probably already aware, next week I'm going to be interviewed by Callum from DX Commander about online clubs, and it'll be an opportunity for us to promote it. And I suspect two weeks after that, he'll come to the club on Zoom to uh, give us a bit of an overview on himself and his interest in antennas. And, uh, yeah, and discounts. Does. More than likely this. At the end of the day, <laughs> he's a he's a small he's a small cottage business. Uh, 
and and you have to take that as it is. And you, you most often. <laughs> yeah, you Francis, know what, Francis, sorry. if you get him into the group, does that uh, count towards your promoting amateur radio tick box? Yeah, yeah it better do. <laughs> <laughs> it better do. <laughs> and, and also, if I go on his show, then that counts to promote in the club. Yeah. <laughs> win win. You're doing it now. You're doing it now. <laughs> Work hard. Uh, um, you might also want to put a here out just before it, uh, the talk goes live so that we know we might get an influx of yeah. <laughs> randomness. Well, we do need to have a chat about whether we mention we're doing a pilot program for intermediate, not that anyone can join. I think, say, that there is discussion around it, but not yeah. take on too many more at the moment. Well, we've got, yeah, we've got a good job. I don't, we wouldn't be taking any on because until we get to at least week five of the pilot, when we get past the pain in the arse stuff, there's no chance we, we'd, we'd screw ourselves over if we did. But we've already said this. Awesome. Cool. Well, in that case, thank you very much, everyone, for your time. Um, if you think of anything that you haven't thought of now, post it on Discord. Otherwise, uh, hope to catch you in a couple of weeks. Cool. Thank you very much. Thank you. Is it worth going around the, on the board here? You can do, yeah. One well, be shy. You want to say, well, yeah, you can do. I don't, a lot of people are muted. It's, I think, I know Lawrence is working. Um, I think Paul's, uh, what you probably haven't seen is a lot of people are talking text chat Michael, off the side. Okay. So, uh, that's probably all good. Right. Just, uh, as long as everyone's happy, and thank you very much indeed. Hi, very welcome, and thanks thank for you. dropping by, Tom. Um, we're always thank looking you. for more volunteers. <laughs> Lumber with anything. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> cool. uh, seriously, it, it all really helps everyone. My main club is Harrow. Uh, my secondary club is Edgware, and I own my own club of M1 DDX, Middlesex. But... Um, how can I put it? It's a hobby. Yeah. Uh, um, I don't get that much time on the air, apart from my local repeater, GB3HR, um, which is supposedly one of the busiest repeaters, but it's definitely quiet. Um, just get yourselves involved where you feel comfortable. That's, that's why I offered to do the talk, you know, and it give people a bit of a background on what I enjoy. Send me an invitation because I don't know enough about those modes. It'll, it'll be uh, two weeks on the same Zoom uh, channel, so. Yeah, I'll, I'll send you over some course of the time, no worries. It, it's my take on Ros uh, FTA and other digital modes on the Raspberry Pi. I might and get to try and join in as well then. <laughs> well, everyone's welcome. Te we've said it, we've, sorry, go on. Techni oh. Technically, a lot of what I do, you don't need a Raspberry Pi to do it. You could do it on a Mac, PC. It's just the way I've set it up, it yeah. works perfectly having it on a Raspberry Pi, so. Francis, can I um, jump in as well? And um, if anyone's interested, I'm happy to do a talk on mobile HF. Yes, please. Because, uh, I, yes, have yes, suffered, yes. <laughs> I have suffered. I have the fingers to prove it. I have chased down RS. I have bonded my car until there's not much left. Uh, so I have the scars to prove it. Um, yes. So I'm more than happy yes, to please. talk to everyone about that. <laughs> But my, my, my FT817 really wants to be good when I'm out in a field, so yes, please. Yes. Well, I do like the uh, Icon 706. I know it's an old radio, but it's, it's a bloody good, excuse my French I've, radio. Yeah, I've got, I've, so, that's, my, uh, that's my actual radio. I've got radio. two, so anybody that trashes that, I'm afraid. Uh, I don't drive, but... Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I'm happy to do that one for you. Yeah. I don't drive, but one of the reasons I've got the 991 and the Raspberry Pi is I can also chuck it in a bag if I go uh, out somewhere and I can operate uh, with that. Yeah. I'll tell you what, Mark, what are you doing on yeah. Thursday the 6th of August? Not a great deal, I wouldn't have thought at the moment. Right, I'll um, ask you, I don't ask know, you again. Like, I was going to say, can you, can you poke me on it somewhere? Because I've got my diaries on the phone, so yeah. I can't, you know. I'll ask you but again in the next couple right. of days. Yeah, I'll ask you again in a couple of days. Hmm. And if it's still yeah. nothing, then we can get, we'll book it in. I should imagine that would be all right, and uh, I'm 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 okay with the um, with the other stuff as well. Quite happy with what I've seen. I think it's a great idea. So, brilliant. Until we over on that one. Great. All right. Cheers, Mark. Okay, thanks, everyone. Thirty threes. Yeah. Cheers. Look forward to seeing you all in two weeks. Yeah. Thank you, everyone, again. Good evening. Cheers, Thank all. You. Bye. Take care.